Tucked into the steep shores of Indian Arm below Bunsen Lake stands a gray, monolithic architectural oddity, Bunsen Powerhouse. So we're just getting to the powerhouse now. It's been a very long paddle at about half a kilometer an hour average speed. But I finally paddled the uh, seven or eight kilometers up Indian Arm. And it actually has been good paddling conditions because it's just been glossy calm water. There it is. The paddle here was long and I got completely soaked from the water dripping off the paddle, but I did see some jellyfish, a big orange one floating underneath the pack raft. I saw some seal heads pop out of the water. There's a lot of really beautiful cabins and homes along the shores of Indian Arm on the way here. This is actually powerhouse number two, built in 1914, 11 years after powerhouse number one, which is just a few hundred meters further around the corner. Powerhouse number one is BC's oldest functioning hydroelectric power plant. This is the dawn of the electric age, and before 1903, Vancouver's electricity was provided via a steam generating plant. But demand for electricity was about to surge, and hydro was deemed the white coal of the future. In 1903, 95% of the electricity generated was used to power Vancouver streetcars and transit lines. BC ERC stands for BC Electric Railway Company, of which Vancouver Power Company was a subsidiary. This logo is decorated into the concrete at the top of the structure. The general manager was Johannes Bunsen while the first powerhouse was built. The reservoir's name was changed from Lake Beautiful to Bunsen in his honor. This diversion of water was highly controversial as the lake was the fresh water supply for cities like Coquitlam and New Westminster. The original cost was supposed to be 800,000 but went over budget to 1,200,000. Water wheels came from the Pelton Company of San Francisco. Before more modern, remotely operating generation units were installed in the 1950s, the old style units required personnel on site to maintain and operate the powerhouses. This resulted in the small community of Bunsen taking hold on the forested hillside where families lived accessible only by boat. Even their groceries were delivered by boat. Powerhouse number two operated until 1964 and I couldn't find a reason why it stopped. Maybe its power was no longer needed. But it did become the location of several film productions, from The X-Files, The Blair Witch Project, Lake Placid, Freddy vs. Jason, Hot Rod, and it's the lair of Pennywise in It by Stephen King. This hydropower plant and the four kilometer long tunnel connecting Coquitlam Lake to Bunsen Lake was an engineering marvel of its time. I do not know who the architect was behind the design of powerhouse number two, but its castle-like ramparts are a unique structure in BC's lower mainland. Ever since I was a boy, I enjoyed drawing buildings. Now I'm a man, and I still love experiencing interesting architecture. Look at this delicious deep cove pizza I have. I earned it with that really long paddle today. 
and uh, my arms and my clothes are covered in salt, but it was a lot of fun. It's pretty interesting seeing one of the earliest hydroelectric generating stations in BC and getting to witness a little bit of that history.